I'm holding a copy of an awesome geometry book by Harold R. Jacobs, and it's simply titled Geometry. And I'm holding a copy of the third edition, and uh, it's a really cool book because it covers interesting topics, including the important topics. Uh, it's got a really awesome proofs, and every now and then, it's got a nice little riddle, such as the one I find on page 83 of this third edition. And the riddle comes in the form of a letter, and um, so I'll read it. Uh, and as I read it, I'm going to animate corresponding slides that are going to help you understand what he's talking about. So he says, uh, Lewis, or it says, Lewis Carroll once posed the following problem in a letter to a young friend who was studying algebra. And here's the letter. It says, Understanding you to be a distinguished algebraist, i.e. distinguished from other algebraists by a different face, different height, etc., okay, corny, I beg to submit to you a difficulty which distresses me much. If x and y are each equal to 1, so that's this, x equals y equals 1, it is plain, he says, that 2 times the quantity x squared minus y squared is equal to 0, so he's saying this has to follow. Yeah, in fact, this is true, what I just animated. Um, if x equals y, period, let alone x equaling y equaling 1, right? It's, e it's even easier to believe if y and x are equal to 1 that this quantity uh, 2 times um, the quantity x squared minus y squared has to be 0. Got it. Okay, and he continues. And also that um, 5 times the quantity x minus y is equal to 0. Okay, yeah, we believe that. Where are you going with this? Uh, and then he adds, hence, uh, the two things are equal. It doesn't actually say the two things are equal, but it has written the two things as being equal. Uh, that's true. Zero equals zero, or substitution allows us to do that. Uh, and so he continues and says, now divide each side of this equation by x minus y. Now note, uh, on the left side of this very last equation, x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y times x minus y by, uh, you know, factoring difference of squares, right? And so he's telling us to divide both sides of this last equation by x minus y. And if we do, and uh, also show the factoring I just spoke of, then we'd have this. Cool. And so he continues, then... 2 times the quantity x plus y will be 5. And he's right. If we simplify, uh, we should get the 2 times the quantity x plus y is equal to 5. Hmm, I see where he's going with this. He's, and then he continues, but x plus y is equal to 1 plus 1, and therefore 2. Yeah, you're right. And that'd be this. Okay, so, he says, 2 times 2 will have to equal 5. And then he concludes, Ever since this painful fact has been forced upon me, I have not slept more than eight hours a night and have not been able to eat more than three meals a day. I trust you will pity me and will kindly explain this difficulty. All right, he's obviously being too dramatic, but um, can you guys see, like, yeah, the explanation to this result? Let's think back. Let's retrace our steps. Yes, yes, I see that you see it. Uh, if x equals y equals 1, then x minus y is equal to 0. So in this step where we divided by x minus y, we divided by 0. And so we did something that doesn't make sense, and therefore ended up with something that doesn't make sense. And um, I got the idea to do this video, although I had already like seen this riddle a long, long time ago. I chose to do this video now because I saw a lot of stupid videos claiming things like these, like 0 times 1 is equal to 7 or something else ridiculous. Um, and so I wanted to clear up um, that there is no way in our universe for you to get a statement like 2 times 2 equals 5, the way that our math works and the way that our number system works, there will never be a case, a situation, where 2 times 2 will equal 5. So oftentimes, um, you get to these conclusions, these stupid conclusions, and silly is a euphemism for stupid, because I wanted to be kind. But yeah, like you, you get these stupid videos with these stupid conclusions, because somewhere along the line, they make a faulty assumption. 
they make a false move, just like we did here, by dividing by zero. But otherwise, you can't, you can't get stupid things happen in math, okay? Math always makes sense. Take care.